friends, have I got a fun project for you where you can make a giant heart, a medium-sized heart, an itty-bitty heart, or even design your own heart. The first thing we're going to do is take a piece of paper. I'm using newspaper because why not? Fold it in half and draw half of a heart. Now I'm using only the warm colors, painting just a little bit on the outside edge of that heart, then folding the paper closed and rubbing it so that it magically appears or prints on the other side. When I teach this lesson, I reference the artist Jim Dine. You'll see why here shortly. If you're not familiar with his work, he did a lot of painted hearts, among other things, and he often gave them a 3D effect, which when this is dry, I'll show you how to do it. This is also a great lesson to share with students if you want to talk about warm colors, which I just got rid of, and the cool colors, which I'm introducing here in the background. That'll help break up the space so that you can really see the heart. Now, if you're going to do this on newspaper, be careful not to use too much paint. If you do, it'll start to fold and stick. Regular paper might work best. For this one, I just decided to practice my cursive writing a little bit, but I did the same kind of idea. So if you want to elevate this project or take it to other grade levels, that might be a way to do it. When the paint on your first painting is dry, then take a black oil pastel and really heavily outline that heart. And then you're going to take your finger, pressing hard on the oil pastel line and bring it in to smear it. Remember the artist Jim Dye and I talked about? He did a lot of three-dimensional work in his pieces with a heavy black line. You can find a slower version of this video on my blog.